Well, less than half of Hoosiers, 43% have education and training past high school. The Indiana Commission for Higher Education recently laid out a plan to move the needle to at least 60% within the next five years. In our Eye on Education segment this week, Indiana Commission for Higher Education Commissioner Teresa Lubbers is here with details on the plan and uh, other takeaways from a recent State of Higher Education uh, report. Teresa, as always, welcome to the program. Thank you. I want to talk about that completion number because it has been the subject of a lot of conversation in Indiana and really I think a lot of states probably, but uh, that, that goal of 60% beyond high school with a quality credential. You're 43 percent now. How would you assess where things are? Are you making progress uh, toward that goal? We're making progress. We're at 43.6 percent. Mm -hmm. uh, we're counting every everything we can. Um, right. And we, we've, we've actually increased by about 10 percent in the last 10 years. Uh, and that 60 percent number, it's important to know why we set 60 percent. And we established that because that will be the, those will be the needs of the workforce. And as you mentioned, it's important to mention we're talking about quality credentials beyond high school. That could be industry certifications, mm -hmm. quality certificates, two for your degrees or, be, or graduate mm -hmm. degrees. We need all of those. Um, we're, on, we're making progress, but we will not get to that 60 percent uh, unless we do better with two populations in particular. Our adult population who needs to come back and get those kinds of skills because the jobs have changed, and then those underrepresented populations which have not been served through higher education in the past at the level we need them to be in the future. Yeah, you mentioned those uh, key areas for, uh, for moving the needle. How about other partnerships or collaborations? I know the governor's workforce cabinet uh, and the focus at the state level on workforce and, and how they are aligning with jobs of the future. How does that all play into this? Well, the governor's workforce cabinet was created to really look at education and training from early childhood education through lifelong learning. And, and I like to think of it in this way, that we talk about right fit for the individual based on their personal aspirations and preparation and the needs of the economy. There is not a singular pathway. And some people talk and they almost put education workforce as competitors with each other. Everybody engages in education workforce to have a meaningful career and job. And so the workforce cabinet has really been created to bring employers, agencies together with philanthropy and community leaders so that we are actually aligned around mutual goals. And, and again, the outcomes that you're talking about here have a direct correlation to economic development, jobs, and, and, and things that really truly do drive the economy. It all comes back to the workforce. If you talk about companies that are considering moving to Indiana or growing their companies here, it is about the workforce. I uh, want to also touch on uh, one other aspect of your uh, State of Higher Education uh, report, and that's the 21st Century uh, Scholars Program, which is celebrating 30 years. Hard to believe it's been that long, but three decades. Three decades, and this is a game changer. I talked about the achievement gap before. Our 21st Century Scholars, who are first generation, low income students, they are the only students who are on schedule to close the achievement gap by 2025. Uh, Low-income students, their peers who are not 21st century scholars, we are not making similar progress with. So we, it, we may not have a silver bullet, but we have a pathway for first-generation underrepresented populations to succeed. And we think celebrating 30 years makes a difference. We have over 40,000 students who have graduated with one of those scholarships. Teresa Lubbers is the commissioner for the uh, Indiana Commission for Higher Education. Teresa, as always, thanks very much. I know we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. All right.